be addressed. Well, I, I think, gentlemen, I would just um, point out, I'm sure as he knows, uh, the law that perhaps he's referring to are riders on appropriations bills. Uh, and as well, I think he is well aware that courts have indicated if there is silence on the issue of life uh, and government funding of abortion, uh, that necessarily goes uh, against those who want to see the prohibition of the government funding of abortion, which is why it is so important that this House take up that issue. Uh, I would ask the gentleman, though, if the issues that I raised surrounding the government funding of abortion will be addressed. Will those, will those issues be addressed in the manager's amendment, or will we expect to be able to address those uh, in an amendment? And I yield. Yeah, I have not discussed specifically uh, the Rules uh, Committee's uh, plan on that. I would repeat that it, it, it will be addressed. Now, how it will be addressed, I don't have an answer for you. Uh, I thank the gentleman. Thank the gentleman, and I thank him for taking note of our concern on that issue. Um, I would also ask, that Madam concern, if the gentleman yield, as, that, you? as you know, that, that concern is shared on both sides of the aisle. That, that is correct, and I appreciate the gentleman's uh, comments there. Uh, I would ask the gentleman, Madam Speaker, about the question of the manager's amendment, uh, when we can expect that to be online, and whether the public will have 72 hours uh, to view that amendment prior to any vote. I yield. Yeah, let me ask, I think you sort of asked the question and then I didn't respond to it as to when we may first consider the bill itself, so let me back up from there. Uh, I expect the manager's amendment to be available on Monday uh, and I expect there to be 72 hours uh, 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 for the uh, body uh, to con have notice of that as well as the general public. Uh, I would expect, therefore, the earliest votes to be uh, no earlier than Thursday, 72 hours after the manager's amendment is put online. Uh, so that may be Thursday at some point in time, but we will meet that 72-hour pledge that we have made. I, I thank the gentleman. I would, I would finally, on the issue of this, uh, this massive bill on health care that we are about to debate next week, I would ask, Madam Speaker, the gentleman, whether we can expect the doctor reimbursement bill to be included in this bill or whether it will be coming as a separate bill to the floor, and I yield. As the gentleman knows, the so-called sustainable growth rate, which is uh, you refer correctly, as we all sort of refer to it as the doc fix or compensation, uh, as the gentleman knows, uh, the Senate tried to pass a freestanding bill uh, on uh, the sustainable growth rate so that doctors do not receive a 21 percent uh, decrease on uh, January 1 in their Medicare reimbursement rates. Uh, on our side of the aisle, we are strongly in favor of making sure that that cut does not occur. We think that will not serve uh, seniors in particular because medical personnel will be unable to uh, serve uh, with those compensation levels. As a result, we very much expect to have a sustainable growth rate bill pass this House. As the gentleman knows, we've done that in years past, uh, not related necessarily to any other health reform bill. It is an issue in and of itself that relates to existing Medicare. The health care reform bill uh, deals with the reform uh, and the creation of a system of affordable, accessible, quality health care uh, for all Americans. Uh, the sustainable growth rate deals with the present system. We've got to deal with it. And I will tell the gentleman it's my intention to make sure that we bring to the floor uh, a sustainable growth rate. We've been discussing with the Senate because the Senate tried to do it and it was not successful. Passing that, we want to see success. Uh, it is absolutely essential that we do that. Whether we do health care reform or not, uh, we will do that. So I tell my friend that uh, uh, we are going to have that probably, uh, probably uh, as a uh, freestanding piece of legislation. Uh, I, I thank the gentleman, and I know that uh, as, as he discussed the Senate's experience with that bill, obviously the question of the deficit is looming large surrounding that issue, and I, uh, would, uh, I would note that, uh, Madam Speaker. But in closing... Will, will my friend uh, yield on that I, point? I, I yield. I thank my friend for yielding, because I did not mention that. Uh, the, we, are, we are, and as the gentleman knows, I am, very concerned about the looming deficits. 
that have been caused uh, by the very substantial economic downturn and our necessity to respond to that under the previous administration and under this administration. Uh, we need to get a handle on that. One of the things that we have pledged in our budget uh, to do is to make sure that statutory paygo is put in place, which will be an uh, extrinsic constraint, if you will, a statutory constraint on the uh, spending, uh, whether it's spending in terms of uh, uh, on entitlement spending, uh, whether it's in terms of revenues or in terms of spending. Both have an adverse impact uh, and on the deficit. So that it is my expectation that when we deal with the statutory pay go, we will also, excuse me, when we deal uh, with the uh, either the statutory, the uh, uh, sustainable growth rate, uh, the doc fix, uh, or the estate tax, or the AMT, or middle class uh, income uh, tax reduction, uh, we will uh, uh, include provisions for statutory pay go to be sent with that legislation to the Senate as is consistent with the budget that we passed and, the, and that the Senate passed. I thank the gentleman and I know that he knows uh, the reported agreement on all of this uh, excludes the dock fix as well as those other items from being paid for which is a con of concern to him I know as well as many of us when we're considering this health bill and then choose to leave out a significant portion of government expense under Medicare in terms of reimbursing providers under the SGR. Will my friend yield? I yield. It, it, let me ask my friend just so that I can, can know as we move forward. If we do not consider the health reform bill, uh, is the gentleman in favor of moving a, uh, uh, a reimbursement for doctor's uh, provision is uh, notwithstanding that? Uh, I think the gentleman knows that I, as well as most of my colleagues, uh, Madam Speaker, will be supportive of trying to address uh, the inequities uh, that exist in the current SGR formula. Uh, and uh, he has my commitment to want to work to try and fix and right those inequities since the payment formulas that have been established uh, are far from matching the realities of practice expense for our physicians. I thank uh, the gentleman and look forward to his help. Uh, <laughs> I thank the gentleman for that. In closing, Madam Speaker, you know, after we've had this discussion and the colloquy and the gentleman's uh, words as well as mine for some time now, I would just note uh, for the gentleman as well as our colleagues that 41 percent of the American people, according to a recent Gallup poll, think the economy should be our top priority, while only 17 percent think that health care should be Congress's top priority. In addition to that, Madam Speaker, there was a poll out over the last several weeks by Democratic pollster Jeff Guerin in which was cited that 81 percent of Americans do not think that the majority, do not think that Democrats are doing enough to address the disappearing jobs in our economy. So, Madam Speaker, I close with that. I thank the gentleman very much Before for his Before you close, time. will you yield on that issue? Uh, I yield. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Uh, that was, those were interesting polls. Did the, uh, did the gentleman miss the portion of the poll uh, that reflected which party the American public trusted more to deal with either one of those issues? I, I, don't, you, you, I didn't hear you say it. Uh, I, I happen to have seen those polls and happen to have seen those numbers, and I just wondered if the gentleman had seen those numbers. In closing, Madam Speaker, I would <laughs> respond to the gentleman just by saying I don't think neither he nor I are proud of what the public views as the performance of this body as a whole, uh, and I yield back.